In this video, we're going to get a brief overview of how Autobit Sheet Metal handles symbols and assemblies. Now the symbols and assemblies are stored under our Tools menu. So we'll take a look under Tools and first go to the Assembly Library. Now here is a list of assemblies that ship with the software, and then of course you can make your own later on. So the simple assembly probably to look at first would be the diffuser and flex. And you can see it's made up of a flex duct, some dyno ties, and a ceiling diffuser. Now this is a variable dimension assembly and you are allowed up to eight variable dimensions. In this case we only need dimension one because it's a round assembly. We're not going to be using dimension two. Now we have some more complicated, sophisticated assemblies and a look at fire damper sleeve and axis store we had previously used in our takeoff. Starting at the top of it you can see that it starts out with an oval shape. So we have comparison arguments in our assembly that if the shape was set to oval to give us an oval fire damper and sleeve. And then we have a secondary comparison argument in here for dimensions and as the duct gets wider the axis door automatically gets wider. And this same assembly goes through the whole same comparisons for whether it's set to rectangular or round. In addition to if statements we could put in formulas. So here we have the angle iron that's needed to hold the fire damper sleeve in the wall formula at the end of this to take that angle iron and calculate out how much angle iron we actually need. So let's actually see how they're taken off. I'm first going to use the count mode and take off some diffuser flex assemblies. Now these occur in these three places at the top of the drawing. Once I've taken them off I can find that assembly on my mouse menu, fill in my dimension quantity of three, and it's done. We'll do that one more time down along the bottom of the screen. Again, a count mode, and each one of these places is going to result in having the flex duct, the tie straps, and the ceiling diffuser all part of their assemblies. Now, if we take a look at the symbol schedule, so looking at air handling unit and the various categories that they could have gone into. We can see we have an air handling unit and it is linked to a library item. By linking it to a library item, we get the price and or labor. Of course, most equipment is quoted so you can put your own price in. And here's some accessories, filters, and the labor that came in from the labor books. You can overwrite that as an estimator decision. Now looking at some symbols that are attached to ductwork, we've got these ceiling diffusers at the bottom of these duct drops. So we'll be looking at this area of the drawing where we actually have some symbols that are attached to the ductwork. And we're going to use a command here called multi-add drop rise. And it's going to allow us to pick a shape, a size, a drop to height, and we could actually end the drop with that symbol CD1. So we're selecting that symbol and then we go around and search the drawing for any other places we can drops down to a similar symbol. And in this case, we're going to bring in a 16 inch drop, a 12 inch diameter drop, and another 16. The X's on the screen represent a vertical window. And if we go ahead and take a look at that vertical window, you'll see that we've got an elbow at the top, and there's our symbol ceiling diffuser at the bottom, with four feet of duct between them. Another example of a count mode, so we're going to count up these return air grills. They are set up to be symbols. So we'll position our drawings so we can clearly see them all. We'll put them in the return system. Go into the count mode. Click on each one. In this case, we're just going to end the run because we don't have it preset up on our mouse menu. And you notice you can get to any duct item based upon shape. And we can get to our symbols and our assemblies. In this case, we're going to pick return air grill 1 and they're 24 by 24 and the count is already there for us. Now perhaps the easiest way to take off symbols is to use the drag and drop method. So I'm going to set my elevation to zero and drag an air handling unit out onto the screen. Well, there's my air handler. I did want to modify my system to equipment and I click OK and the air handler is just on our takeoff and it's on our screen in position. So that's how we take off assemblies and symbols in Autobit Sheet Metal. Mm -hmm.